Hello, hello, here is Copper, Silver and Steel. Welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you a review of this Williams 200R12 Lee F Apple 4 battery. Well, so as you can see, I have prepared a little setup for testing and I would like to show you how crappy this stuff is. It's basically a review, but also a warning. Do not buy this crap. All right, so first things first. In the package, you got the following things. Um, let's disable it. So, reach rotate. As you can see, this is voltage meter, standard. You can configure it to work. It's a pretty basic it's not a BMS configuration screen, it's only a display for voltage. So, after I bought it, the SOC was about 70%, just like you can see here. And I was trying to attach some load, pretty small load. This is my inverter, 150 watts of power. Nothing fancy, nothing, you know, difficult, but the voltage drops automatically to 10 or even less than 10. I will show you in a moment. So I think maybe the uh, I will use the charger to charge it from the beginning to the end. As you can see, this is Foxer Lee F Apo uh, charger uh, rated automatically 12 or 24 volts. I have used it many years, nothing wrong. It always works. I have also tested in, in the second attempt using the no code genius in uh, lithium mode, but this battery after seven hours show it's full. But now I will show you what happened if you would like to test it. I mean, test the load. So let me show this camera in here. Okay. So how we, we will make test? This is the uh, Pretty simple Chinese uh, 12 to uh, uh, 220 volts inverter, 150 watts of power, nothing fancy. And we will try to light up this 100 watts bulb. Maybe it's seen, it's 100 amps bulb, standard bulb uh, as you can see standard old school bulb so i attached the uh, um, connectors as uh, please uh, take a look at the voltage okay positive to positive negative to negative i will switch the inverter nothing's happened okay 70 percent wow and now let's turn on the bulb. Lovely. Let's take a look. Oh my goodness. It's restarting because it gives an alarm and the battery is completely empty or the BMS sends the signal. So as you can see, you cannot use any load on this battery uh it was charged twice with two different chargers and in both cases chargers said it was full because the voltage is going up as you as as, as long as you disable the inverter just take a look it also goes up so only if a small load appears there is no juice in the battery okay so to be honest, I will also show you the test, the same test on very old, pretty old lead acid wet battery on the same inverter to show you that there is no overload in the inverter and everything works fine. So let's switch to this, okay? Hey, all right, positive to positive, negative to negative inverter on let's go to the bulb Ta -da! nothing's happened 
everything's working so as you can see this is this battery okay let's disable it's very hot in here i have disabled the inverter and as the voltage drops the inverter gives this sound this means the there is no more juice in the battery so as you can see volil's two <laughs> yeah do not short made in china of course yeah the fpo4 very constant voltage drop overload yeah my i don't want to use bad words in here but be careful do not buy cheap crappy stuff on chinese producers because they claim that works but it doesn't work i don't know what's wrong with the battery maybe one of the cell is damaged maybe uh, the bms is crappy and cutting off but uh, this is completely sealed i cannot open it because i don't want to open it i don't want to damage it i want to send it back but i'm recording this to warn you so if you also have built by bought this Woolils, Woolils, I don't know how to pronounce it. Woolils, uh, battery. Just let me know in the comments. Do you have a similar problems? So thanks for watching. It was copper, silver, and steel. Good luck.